Hey guys, in this video, I'll walk you through how to create this infinite scrolling text effect, also known as a marquee effect for free. So let's get into it. To create this effect, we'll be needing an additional widget to achieve this. So let's head on to our WordPress dashboard. Hover over plugins, select add new, search for QI add-ons for Elementor, install that, and then activate. Once that has been activated, the next thing I would like to do will be deactivating the set of widgets on this plugin I wouldn't be using right now aside the text marquee widget. So let's head over to widgets and I just need to search for the text marquee widget. And to do this without having to scroll down this page, I can just hit Ctrl F on my keyboard and search for text marquee. So I'll deactivate the rest aside this and do the same for every other widget on this page. So once you're done, hit the save button. And now we can move on to the page we'd want to put up the text marquee effect on. Let's refresh this page to load up the widget we just installed. And now I can move on to adding the text marquee. So taking this page as our design reference, let's head on to our design canvas. And I'm just going to add in a new section directly on top of this. So I'm just going to select this and for the structure type, select just one column. And for this section, I'm going to change the content rate to full width. And now we can move on to adding in our text into this column. So I'm just going to head on to widget and search for text. And that's going to come up here. So I'm just going to drag this directly into this column and the marquee text will automatically begin to reflect. So in here we have our text items. Coming back to our design reference, we have auto scroll, website design, marketing, and motion design. So I'm just going to head back to our design canvas and insert the text into these items. If you wanted to, you can actually make specific customizations to each of the text. So you can just click on this edit icon and that should automatically bring up the typography. So you can make specific customizations to each of the text. But I wouldn't be doing that in this case because I want everything to be uniform. So I'm just going to leave that as is. And if we wanted to, we can add a separator icon. So let's see how that works. So I'm just going to search for line, click on this and then select insert. And this is pretty much how it's going to be looking like. I don't want that, so I'm just going to delete this. And for the animation duration, I want this to be much more slower than how it is. So I'm just going to make this 50 seconds. And we can see that moves much more slower. But that's just my preference. If you wanted to, you can make this faster. Now for the reverse direction, I can set this moving in the opposite direction. These other options I can leave as is. So let's move on to styling this. For its text color, let's change this to hashtag A3 AF B7. So moving on to typography, click on this pencil icon and for its family, let's change this to Hebo. Font size will be 100 and for its weight, let's change this to bold. Moving on to the text stroke effect, I'm just going to change this to yes. If I change this to yes, this is pretty much how it's going to be looking like. Okay, so for the text stroke color, let's click on this. I'm just going to copy this. Head back to the stroke color and paste that in there. Now for the text stroke width, I'm just going to make this two. Since we didn't add an icon, there'll be no need for this and this. So let's move on to the space between items. Now by default, you should have this set to 100 pixels. So I'm just going to make this 100 pixels anyway. Now one last thing I would like to do is to add in an entrance animation to this text. So let's head on to advanced. Select the motion effect. And for the entrance animation, I'm just going to make this fade in left. And we can see how that looks like. So you want to do the same in reverse. So if I duplicated this and for this text, I toggled the reverse direction to no. What I want to do in this case would be heading on to advanced. And for the motion effect, I'd want to make this right instead. So that's pretty much all you need to do for creating the text marquee effects. And for its responsive mode, that's on laptop, tablets and mobile. You just need to reduce the font size for your text. Okay, so I'm just going to update this. All right, I'm just going to delete one of this and preview my changes. So that's it. Subscribe for more videos like this. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.